it is study day so we're having a study session today at my house so i'm making the lasagna i also bought breadsticks but someone else said they're gonna bring the breadsticks and we're gonna have wine and salad everything like that so let me show you guys i'm gonna show you guys how to make lasagna it's this is a super easy recipe this is all you need so we don't eat ground beef in my house or we don't eat um pork so we use the ground turkey jenny o it's the best one i do not substitute this okay okay all right um then we got the ricotta cheese the lasagna noodles you need two eggs parmesan cheese mozzarella mozzarella i just got this mix this blend um just to add some different flavor and provolone um, you need your sauce. You can do a homemade sauce if you want. Today, I'm not in the mood to. Usually, I get like the two cans of um, tomato sauce and then the two cans of tomato paste. And then you just add all the seasonings you want, like Italian seasoning, which I'm still going to add some Italian seasoning to the sauce. Um, but you add Italian seasoning, um, seasoned salt, pepper, um, onion powder, garlic powder. You make your own sauce, basically. But um, yeah, today I didn't feel like doing that, so this is what I got. Um, and then basil and parsley then you need a pan so i'm gonna go ahead and get the meat cooked and then mix up the cheese mixture in my mixing bowl and then i'll come back and show you guys how to layer the lasagna i do not cook the noodles before i put it in the oven you guys a lot of people ask that i do not do that they will cook in the oven the cheap the moisture from the um the meat the sauce and the cheese will cook the noodles in the oven you guys so do not cook your noodles just layer them in there the way they are okay all right, so let's go ahead and get started. And if you guys are new to this channel, don't go. If you guys are new to this channel, <laughs> don't forget to go ahead and hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell. It's right next to it, so just go ahead and hit that as well. And um, let's make some lasagna. All right, so guys, so the ground turkey is cooking on medium heat. So just gonna make sure you keep an eye on it, keep it stirred, mix it all in, and we're gonna go ahead and start our cheese mixture okay, so now i'm going to make the cheese mixture so i'm going to add in my ricotta cheese and this takes time to get this out okay so there is the cheese let me get all of it out seasonings so our parsley flakes you guys can add this on top too but I like to add it in and um, on top so that's what I do looks like ice cream huh. then we're gonna add in our basil you guys can get fresh leaves if you want but again I just want this to be super quick because it is Sunday and I have other things to do around the house then we're going to add in our parmesan. And then we're going to add in our mozzarella. Alright you guys, so we're going to go ahead and add in our eggs. So there's the first one. Then we'll go ahead and add in the second one. Then you guys want to stir this and make sure everything is well incorporated. So I'm going to move up closer for you. Okay, so I'm going to mix it in. Make sure it's well, the eggs are well incorporated into the mixture. It's going to turn yellow, Mom. Yeah. I can see it turn yellow. Make sure it's good. You don't want to taste the raw eggs, though. Right? Yep. Yeah. That is disgusting. Did it, Mom? Yeah. 
You don't eat them? You don't eat them. I like special eggs. And now? All right, so now we're gonna add, I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese. Little can bit. Mommy, can I do if it, If you please? wanna do it at home. Like this, everyone. So we have some more mozzarella. Everyone, is everyone looking at this? <laughs> and a little bit more. And some more, some more stirring it. A little more parmesan. This is gonna be nice. Look some more and it cheesy. Is. All right, Hot more. cheesy, mama. All right, so I'm gonna get that well incorporated. The meat is ready, so I'm gonna get everything set up here so I can show you guys how to layer the lasagna in the pan. Make sure you preheat your ovens to 375. And yeah. let's get started. All right, so Samora was my nice little helper here. She's gonna go ahead and put in the first three lasagna noodles. So we'll get those layered. Samora, you just need three in there. Okay. So, here, Mom. There. So, your helper. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and Preheat the oven to 375. Alright you guys, so some more put in the first layer of noodles for us. So now we're going to go ahead and start layering. So first we're going to add in our sauce. Let me show you guys. So we're going to add in our sauce. And I put extra sauce in here just so it can cover the noodles. And then we're gonna layer on top of the sauce, we're gonna add in our cheese mixture, okay? So, let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so first layer of meat in the pan. And I did not put this meat as fine as I wanted it to. It doesn't have to be neat, it's lasagna. Just like the banana pudding, you're just putting it all over. All right, you guys, so then you just want to layer, well, not layer, but just put in the cheese, like, sporadically throughout the lasagna. You don't need it in every single place. Then you can just, like, spread that little part around like that. It will spread out in the oven, okay? Now we're going to put on our second layer of noodles. So you want three, depending on how big your pan is, but I always end up with three per layer. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and add in our meat sauce again. So you're just repeating this over and over and over. Once I get to like the second layer, I add in um, more cheese. So let me add in that. And then we can add in some more mozzarella. Now you can start spreading it out because you want the um, sauce and cheese and everything to come in between the noodles. you guys so we're adding our last layer of noodles and on this one I like to put four to cover up the top we're gonna add in some more sauce yeah to 
cover the top of the noodles. And then spread that around. Make sure it hits the edge of the noodles. So again, they will put in the oven. Bring it all the way to the end. Push it down if you need to. All the way to the edges. Make sure so that moisture is hitting the edges. Okay, you guys, so this is it. So we did add in the rest of the cheese. So we have Parmesan, mozzarella, and provolone. So this is a three cheese turkey lasagna. So this is really, really good. Again, I've made this recipe a million and one times. It is tried and true. So I will go ahead and put this in the oven and I'll show you guys what it looks like after it's done. You wanna bake this for about 30 minutes. And then once you take the foil off the top, you can put it in for an extra, tw I'm sorry, 10 minutes to get the top just golden brown with the cheese on there. So I'll go ahead and pop it in the oven, you guys. Set our timer for 30 minutes. Alright, the timer is up, you guys. So let's go ahead and see how our lasagna looks after 30 minutes. Alright, so this is how our lasagna looks after 30 minutes. So we're gonna leave it in here for an extra 10, 15 minutes, depending on how brown I want the top. So I'll go ahead and reset my timer. Right, you guys, so this is the finished lasagna. If you guys could smell this, it smells so good. So I'm just gonna have this with some breadsticks and salad. You can do a Caesar salad, house salad, with whatever you want, and a glass of wine, and your Sunday will be complete, okay? And this yields a lot of leftovers, so take it for lunch, freeze it, whatever you have to do. But it is delicious, you guys, and thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I will see you guys next Sunday with another food video. Thanks for watching.